What's going on ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to the video. Today we're doing the class guide on Eternal Inversionist, the newest class in Adventure Quest World just came out a few hours ago. I got to rank 10, I've used it extensively in PvP and against mobs. I'll be showing you how to use it and reviewing the class mainly. I'm, this isn't a straight up class guide. I'd recommend uh, Google searching Red Zone Trooper if you want a straight up class guide. I'm just going to be giving my thoughts on the class and comparing it to two other classes in the same category. Let's get in the video in three. Two, one. All right. So this class is available at. I might as well show you where to get it, right? So you just go to the newest events or slash join, whatever that map name is. Yasiris, Yasiris, Yasiris. I go to the shop here, click on armors, and get it there. Um, you can get it for rank. 10 or for 2000 ACs in the class shop. If you just go here and then the class shop and you find where would it be in the class shop? I think it goes by letter, right? Somewhere in here. I was told it was in here. Right there. So you can buy in the class shop for 2000 adventure coins or right here. And that is where you get it. Let's go to pirates and I'll show you the damage it does and the damage compared to the other classes and also how to enhance it. Keep in mind that my class is full luck, rank 10, so we have all the passive abilities. I'll also go over the skills first real quick. So you have the skills which will do different things, you know, they, they just need, they do damage and stuff, right? So and then you have your haste, 15% increased, uh, strength and endurance by 12%, and the rank 10 passive is a 40% decrease in magic damage so you're almost cutting magic damage in half incoming so be good in pvp against blaze binder and other magical classes of that sort so uh, another interesting feature about this class is the fact that its auto attack is ranged so it is a melee auto attack but it is ranged so see i wasn't anywhere near that guy i hit the auto attack and it hit so your two skill will have a, a AOE effect, which will target multiple enemies. So will your fifth skill, which will deal a lot of damage, a huge a guaranteed critical on your fifth skill. Uh, don't quote me on anything I say in this video, because I know nothing about class guides. I'm just doing my best, you know, getting this out there. Um, hopefully I help someone. So yeah, the class is very good. It's comparable to Blazebinder and Damien class. Um, those are the two I would compare it to. I like it a lot. I give it a 9 out of 10 uh, for scoring it out of 10 as far as out of 10 scores go. I give it a 9 out of 10. It's a very good farming class. So you can see the damage we're doing here. Pretty high, pretty decent damage. You know, we're outputting a consistent, like, decent amount of damage. Now we can swap over to one of the bigger competitors, Blazebinder. Let's wait for that third skeleton to spawn. All right, and we can hit the blade spiner combo. Just don't have a ranged auto attack on here. So one of the huge advantages of that class of the new class is the ranged auto attack. Of course, helps you out in farming a lot because you don't need mana to use your auto attack, so you can just keep spamming that, and you're always targeting mobs. It's really helpful when you have other people in the room also doing damage which a lot of people will probably overlook that, that the other people in your room doing damage and, and your ranged auto attack being able to hit them while the other people in your room are dealing damage, even if you're out of mana. So that's a very, very cool skill to have. So as you can see, the Blaze Spiner is basically doing about the same damage, uh, maybe less on the criticals. And Damien. So Damien, I'm pretty sure outclasses it from what I tested. But I'll show it off here anyway. Um, pretty sure it's a better class. Damien. Damien's got more heals. Uh, and then keep in mind the new class does have a heal over time. Which does do a lot of... Well, not a lot, but it keeps you alive. It's it's not the best heal over time. But it'll keep your character alive long enough to keep farming. Especially if you have another healer in the room. Or if you have a six player room. Uh, you're not going to die. <laughs> not unless you're farming some super hard boss. Or something like that. And I wouldn't recommend the class for boss farming. So I think see Damien has a huge heal and does a bit more damage than this class. So, but Damien is a member-only class. Keep that in mind. Well, this new class, where is it? 
I'm getting lost in my own inventory. Eternal is not. Okay, so let's go over to boss farming. So we can hit that boss. And yeah, this guy's got 60k, he's level 45, it's an average level for a boss. You know, everyone farms this boss in here for class guides, so why not do what everyone else does? Because that's how everyone compares classes, so it's not really fair to go somewhere else and compare it on lower or higher level mobs when this is the place that everyone does their class guides. So in order to compare it to other classes without actually owning them, you have to show the class off here. If anyone's thinking about getting this class. I'd recommend farming this class and not getting it for the two K ACs. Of course, any class you can farm, I'd recommend it doing that over the ACs. I'd recommend saving your ACs for either buying more bag space, a bit more bank space, or buying rare classes when rare classes do come out. So as you can see, it's nothing special as far as farming a boss. It's really, really, really an AoE mob killer for a mid to low like it, it, you can farm high, higher tier mobs with this easy. Alright, so let's show off some higher tier, higher damage mobs. Alright, these Blade Masters are pretty nutty. So, <laughs> here we go. Let's see, we're just wrecking, you know? It's those 2k hits, you'll do a lot of 2k hits. I think I hit up to 3k on my stream earlier. Very easy, very high damage. And the multi-target thing, look at my health, it's just staying up there, you know? I have no complaints as far as survivability in multi-target situations. It's dealing a lot to... And these mobs are decently healthed, you know? They're, and they have a decent damage output also, which you'll dodge a lot with this class because it has a huge evasion. And a lot of endurance too, so this class is built for survivability and built for farming. Like I'm doing right here with these 20,000 health characters. Just nothing but destruction. Very, very crazy. All right, well, we won't sit around and kill these guys. They would die easy peasy. I mean, I have to look at the screen while I'm playing. All right, we'll lag. We're lagging hard. All right. So hopefully I showed up the class good enough uh, that you got a good feel of what the class is and like where it's slotted in the farming class category. Uh, in PvP, I did a few matches of PvP. It's okay, you know, of course PvP and Adventure Quest is RNG based and sometimes you go up against guys with 3k amulets and you I only use a 1500 amulet because, you know, 3k is pay to win if you're a member and you're using that 3k amulet. Take this shit off, guys. Come on. Um, so PvP, it's, I can't really rate it for PvP, I haven't done enough of it, but I say it's a fair class for PvP. I wouldn't buy it for the express purpose of PvP, it is a farming class for multi-target farming. Uh, so definitely that. Boss farming is something special. It has no buffs like Stone Crusher. I'd highly recommend getting Stone Crusher class if you're looking for a boss farming class. And yeah, um, for enhancements, I'm using Full Luck in this video. Full Luck is what I would recommend for this class. Um, definitely the best. And that's about it, guys. Hopefully you enjoyed the video. If you did, drop a like on it. Let's see if we can get to uh, 200 likes. Damn, that's crazy. Okay, we we'll probably won't hit that. Let's be honest, but 200 likes would be amazing if we could get that. And comment down below whether or not you got this class. I'd be interested if you farmed for it or bought it for ACs. Let's see. Let's see how many people bought it for ACs. I'm kind of curious about that, how many people farmed for it. And uh, yeah, do you like it if you got it? Let's see. Let's see those comments, guys. And I'll see you guys all in the next video. Click the video in the top right corner if you haven't seen it yet. And I'll see you all in the next one. Click the video in the top right corner if you haven't seen it yet, and I'll see you all in the next one.